Hey everyone, Rob here, and I have some breaking news that came in about another Icelandic volcano that may be ready to erupt. And this one is in the Vatnajökull National Park. Of course, we know it as, uh, it's a really hard Icelandic name to pronounce, but Bárða Bunga, I believe was what it is. So it's an active stratovolcano located under Vatnajökull in the Vatnajökull National Park, which is Iceland's, of course, most extensive glacier and the second highest mountain in Iceland, which is 2,000 meters or 6,600 feet above sea level. Now, there was an earthquake recorded this morning. We can see it on the green star here. Uh, and this could be a sign that the volcano is recovering and sort of waking up. And this is all according to a national disaster expert who measures increased activity in the area. And the earthquake was measured at 5.4 in magnitude. And it's the largest recorded since the last eruption in Holurungi in 2015. So if we look at what that means, look at the chart down here. It only goes up to 5. This was 5.4. Now the earthquake... Uh, measured a little over 20 minutes to 7, when most of the country of Iceland, of course, was asleep because it's a Sunday. And several aftershocks were recorded as a result, and the largest measuring 2.5. Now, Hildur Maria Friedrichsdottir, a natural hazard expert or specialist at uh, the meteorological agency, She's quoted as saying that it was 5.4, which is the largest earthquake recorded since the upheaval in 2014 to 2015 when it did erupt. So it looks a little bit like the volcano is recovering, could be waking up, and the, but this could be the start of a long process. And they're saying this is a process that could even take several years. They don't think it's considered necessary to start increase or increase the monitoring that's already going on in the area. Uh, and it's also quite remote. So if we take a look at the whole country... We can see here that green star is kind of tucked away a little bit over in the corner where, frankly, there's not many people. Um, and there's some people, I mean, most of the tourism happens in this area here in the south uh, and along the outside perimeter of Iceland. Very few people are going to this northern area, especially right now. But it is worth noting um, the, of course eruption or the possible eruption mind you if we take a look at it we can see here it's a 5.4 at a depth of 0.1 kilometers which is quite shallow uh, and 7.6 kilometers from Bar barabungu it's really uh really hard hard thing to uh to pronounce now a little bit of a history and let's take a look at some amazing photographs of the last eruption. And this is from guide to Iceland.is. Uh, and it's 15 incredible photographs of the last uh, <laughs> it's a terrible to say, volcano in Iceland. And I will post a link to this because, of course, they're very generous in allowing the usage of these. Uh, but again, this is a subglacial stratovolcano under the ice cap of Vatnajökull Glacier in the Vatnajökull National Park. And as I mentioned, it rises about 2,000 meters or 6,600 feet above sea level. And um, the last time that this erupted was in 2014, 2015. The thing with that is, and this is all according to Wikipedia, so take it with a grain of salt, I guess. On August of 2014, a swarm of around 1,600 earthquakes within 48 hours, and they say with magnitudes up to 4.5, was followed uh, previously from the eruption. And uh, all that happened and the eruption went until February of 2015, where it was reported it was officially over. And the gas pollution, of course, still existed in the area north. And this area, uh, including volcanoes, Askia and Head of the Brother, they still remain closed, or remained closed at that time due to the gas pollution to visitors. Um, but of course, from February, one month later, March 2015, the area north of it was opened back up, uh, excluding the new lava field, which was 24. But Wikipedia has diligently updated their thing to showcase that the uh, 5.3 earthquake, magnitude earthquake, that uh, that is now recorded there. So you can take a look, and I'll put a link uh, to Wikipedia for an easy viewing of all this stuff. But a fun fact, in this area, in 1477, 
The Valdivat eruption in 1477 is the largest known Icelandic eruption with a VEI of six. And uh, apparently the VEI is a common uh, way of looking at things. If we take a look at the VEI, we can see here uh, the VEI goes to seven and the VEI of six is considered you know very large so this area is known for very large <laughs> very large eruptions and it's uh yellowstone if you're following yellowstone of course everyone knows about that and uh, the yellowstone cloud that's a seven i mean that's the top of the list but the fact that mount st helens is sort of a four or five and then the one that we're looking at here in iceland was a recorded six back in the 1400s uh not saying that's going to happen again but you never know so that's it for now. I mean, we got a lot of news coming out of Iceland with eruptions. We got one going in the Reykjanes Peninsula. We have possibly another one creeping up us, on us while the first one is erupting. And now we have underneath the Vatnajökull National Park. We've talked about this before, but it looks like this is the largest earthquake. Who knows what's going to happen? And uh, yeah, I think spring is the season for it. We'll just keep our eyes open and see what happens. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, of course, like and subscribe. Do all that fun stuff. So uh, until next time, thanks again.